shot two videos for $88,000. And in those days, a lot of people, you see, my manager was Bill Graham. Yes. And he was always one step. He was very famous. famous. Yeah. He unfortunately, died in a helicopter accident back in the early 90s. Mm -hmm. We said there's this new show on called MTV, and it's going to be music for 24 hours a day. I and said, it's going to be big. I said, well, are you sure, Billy? He says, yeah. He says, you know, you got to get in there. So we went in and we shut these videos, and since there wasn't really a lot of artists doing, doing music videos, yeah. Yeah. I was like the biggest thing on MTV. They played me day and night. As a matter of fact, one of the critics from the, uh, from the, from the uh, New York Times said, if you want to be on, big on MTV, you might as well be Eddie Money. Right, right. So now, you, and, and you realized early on, as did your manager, uh, the benefits of these videos, sure. and you went on to produce over 30 of them and were quite a pioneer. Yeah, we did a lot of shots. It was, to now I look back at those videos, I look like the, she, the singing shoe salesman from the 80s. <laughs> you know, had that right haircut and all the, all the clothes from the 80s. But we were very successful cutting the videos, and, you know, kids are still watching them today, you know. I know. Uh, in 1986, you had one of the biggest hits, your biggest hits, with Take Me Home Tonight, uh, which you co-sung, uh, co with the great Ronnie Spector. Right, it was great using Ronnie. Uh, how did that collaboration, which became one of your biggest hits, how did the collaboration come about? Well, you know, the song was written by a, a couple of guys from England, Take Me Home Tonight, but in the song, it had two choruses. It had Take Me Home Tonight, I Don't Want to Let You Go Till You See the Light, but it also had the second chorus in that, which was Be My Little Baby, yes. off the original Ronette yes. song. I, I called her up, you know, originally we were going to be used Martha, Martha Davis from the motels. Oh, who was okay. a very good friend of okay. mine from the 70s. She used to go out with my guitar player when I was in a group called The Rockets. But I said, you know what? This song is about the amazing, this song is about Ronnie Spector. Let's get a hold of the original, you know, the great Ronnie Spector. Ronnie Spector. 